hey guys i'm rachel and welcome back to my channel um thank you so so much for watching and if you like what i'm doing here please subscribe and always hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads also always like comment and share the videos it really helps and i really really appreciate it <laughs> you can also follow me on my social medias instagram specifically shades of chels and chels makeup edition i am a nail technician and a working makeup artist here in brooklyn i would always leave the links to my social media and how to book me and all the information that i use in this tutorial in my description box below so always be sure to check that out so today i'm doing an in-depth green cut crease eyeshadow look i'm going a little more in depth of how to create a cut crease um your brushes the uses your shadows and your application all while keeping this very very fall friend if you want to see how i do that stay tuned Okay, so I did my face off camera. I used my Too Faced foundation and concealer. I list everything in the description box. And I also did one eye off camera just to save time. So let's jump into the other eye now. Okay, so I'm starting with my Shayla and Colourpop Perceptions palette. And I'm grabbing the shade Thick on my Morphe E27 brush. It's a blending brush. It's gonna help me to diffuse the color so that everything can be seamless and blended. And I'm using small circular motions and bringing this from my inner corners to my outer corners. And when I get to the outer corner, I'm flicking it off because I wanna create this cat eye effect. My eyes look nicer when the look is more lifted. Creating that effect is gonna make the look more lifted. And I'm applying the color in small circular motions. It helps me to blend it better until I get the pigment that I want. And I want this to be very orange. So I'm doing this a couple of times. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going with my Coastal Sense. This is like a large shadow brush. And I'm grabbing the shade Revenge and play it out. And I'm going to be applying that directly in my crease underneath that first shade that I placed down. And I'm using this brush because it's flatter and it gets directly in my crease. And I'll have more control of where it is I want the shadow to be. And I'm basically doing the same things. Going windshield wiper motion now. And I'm flicking it out in the outer corner to help create this elevated cat eye look. And my eyes are kind of long, so this complements my eye shape very nice. You might have a rounder eye, so you just do what you think is best for your eye shape. So I'm going back and forth, and I'm dipping my brush in my, my shadows at least three or four applications until I get that, that um, pigment that you're looking for. And Morphe makes a good brush like this as well. Now I'm grabbing a concealer brush. It's a Morphe concealer brush again. It's um, M421. You want a brush that's a very flat so you can get a very nice defined crease. And I'm using concealer here to cut my crease. It just makes it very easy. You can use whatever you have. And I like my sh the concealer to be lighter than my skin because it makes the colors pop even more. And I'm gently, this takes time. It really does so I'm gently going back and forth looking in the mirror looking down making sure the the um the crease the cut crease I'm trying to create is even with the one that I did before and like I say you do this to your eye shape you do what what works best for your eye shape I like to bring this just right underneath my crease into my crease slightly if i'm explaining that good enough because when i open my eyes i do not want anything to transfer into the crease colors that i laid down as you can see here that's what happened when i opened my eyes so you want to be mindful to not look up too much you don't want to transfer anything and i'm bringing that up more that's like a guideline for me to see where exactly or how high exactly i want the concealer to be so I'm doing this until I get the shape that I want, until I'm happy with it. 
now that i am and like, like i said be mindful to not look up too much until it's concealed because it's wet you want it to, to not look up and i did and you can see i have a blender and i'm going to show you how to fix that so i'm using an eyeliner brush and i'm going in with that two shades revenge and play it out and i'm neatening up that line to get rid of that transfer that i had earlier on and this helps to sharpen up the line even more now i'm grabbing the shades ie sassy and unbothered ie is that green that i'm going in with and i'm using that same um concealer brush because it's a synthetic brush you want to use synthetic brushes when you're picking up glitters and shimmer they apply better than natural hair blushes brushes sorry unless that's the look that you're going for so i'm tapping that in on the majority of my lids and i'm leaving the outer corner and the inner corners clear now i'm going in with a darker green named sassy and i'm pressing that in and blending it in inwards to meet that first shade that i that i placed down and i'm going in with unbothered to highlight my inner corners and to bring some more definition and light to my eyes and i'm dragging it in towards that green and here i am neatening up that line again in case anything got into the crease I'm using my Morphe gel liner in Jet and I'm using um, another Morphe brush. This is a Morphe day, you guys. This is a Morphe eyeliner brush. I can't remember the number, but I'm placing that in my waterline and in my lashes sort of because I want that line to be very dark and I do not want any gaps. I don't want you to see my, my skin in my lashes or anything. I'm, so I'm pasting that on. Then I'm grabbing this flat definer brush from Coastal Sense different brands make these brushes as well and i'm going to set that black liner with the shade stallion it's sort of a, a metallic sorry not metallic it's like a dark blue but it comes off black on camera and then i'm using a small pencil brush now and i'm grabbing the shades revenge and thick because i'm trying to create some uniformity with my crease colors and i'm slightly gently gently <laughs> sorry blending out that black shadow to create a nice transition and to just create make everything look uniform now i'm going to complete the rest of my face you see how excited i am i'm using this new morphe contour palette and i'm using the shade um fabulous on a elf complexion brush and i'm using this big brush because i want it to be diffused and i love using warm tones to contour my face and i'm doing this underneath my neck to get rid of any double chin and just to create a sharper jawline and i'm doing a little contour on my nose underneath my lips to make them look even more plucky and i'm adding some blush from my elf blush quad just to add a little color to my cheeks then i'm setting everything in place you all know the drill with that now i'm going with my morphe gel liners i'm sorry liquid liners and i'm using my morphe bite lip pencil and i'm going in with the shade spicy it's a beautiful coral color i love it so much it is so so pretty that's the process you guys applying liquid lips it's a process going back in with that palette i'm grabbing that highlight shade named bing bang big bang <laughs> and i'm applying it on a morphe y14 highlight brush and i did dump my brush as usual my setting spray on the tops of my cheeks i'm gonna place it on my chin and over my brows it just makes everything look more lifted then i'm getting very defined i'm using a pencil brush here i'm applying it to my cupid's bow and very defined with my nose Then I'm grabbing my Jaclyn Hill palette, palette and I'm using the shade Coin. It's a very gold, gold um, color. And I'm just applying a little bit of this to the tops of my cheek. Going in with some kiss lashes to complete the eyes. And that's it. There we have it. My green cut crease. Very fall appropriate. Very fall friendly. I love fall. It's my favorite favorite season and i love the colors as well coppers and greens and stuff like that i really love I, I gravitate to these shades a lot so i hope you learned something you take from it you incorporate it touching the world one face at a time that's my new tagline yeah but thank you so much for watching and see you again soon bye